This is Pex, Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter Zero, The Man with the Guardian Spirit. The reason I'm calling it Chapter Zero is because it is a tutorial. So we're going to start off with using our bare hands to destroy a wall next to us. Then we run to the right, go into a room to pick up our weapon. And we're going to go to the start menu to equip it. Now, we can use it to fight the enemy right in front of us in order to get the dungeon key to get out. So we just use a couple of slashes to kill him, then use the dungeon key. Run upstairs, and run up to another set of stairs. And we fight two enemies that are in our way. We need to fight these enemies in order to go through the door so that we won't get hit or killed. So, dodge this guy's here and just keep attacking. Alright, now we just go to the right. And we can fight this enemy or we can dodge it, doesn't matter. And we're just still going through another flight of stairs. Alright, and then we go to our left. Take a right, there will be an enemy with a spear, you can actually dodge him, and just run down the stairs all the way. Uh, in that room there is a shrine, which are known as checkpoints. And uh, we're actually going to be skipping that just to go outside, and we're just going to run past all these enemies. Then you take a left, and hug the left side of the wall. And to unlock this box, and then equip an axe to use that against the boss that we're about to face. Pass these two enemies and just open the door. They won't hit you, but they'll still try to attack you. So now just go run up the stairs, go to the left, and just uh, run up to these stairs just to get to the boss. The boss's name is Derek the Executioner. Run to the middle, run back, wait for him to drop, and just use a heavy attack to slash him three times. He goes down. That's easy. But then he gets resurrected into a yokai, which are known as demons. Uh, so simple. Just slash him two times, get back, let him attack, and then let him use his charge attack, which gives you the advantage of you slashing him two times, and then rinse and repeat. Just uh, do this a few times just to get his stamina down, and then uh, shows the prompt to activate the living weapon, which is pretty much like for Marvel vs. Capcom players, X Factor kind of thing. And uh, if you're able to do this tutorial, then congrats, you have completed the tutorial mission. Now we are on Chapter 1 The Isle of Demons. And uh, for this, before we actually start the chapter, we're actually going to be selecting our weapons and our guardian spirit. Uh, so if you're seeing me skipping these cutscenes, the purpose of this beginner's guide is for gameplay, not for cutscenes. If you'd li like to know the cutscenes, you can just go to other YouTube videos that show it. So the first weapon you're going to be selecting is a Kusurigama. Is that useful? We're going to need that weapon to be. Uh, for the first two missions and the second weapon is the uh, dual wielding which we're going to be using that later on and then for your guardian spirit it is Kato because he is pretty much the most useful spirit of them all and we're actually going to be skipping I'm actually going to be skipping the tutorial but I can give you guys the best explanation I can for what to do in this game uh, I'll try to explain it during the tutorial or probably after. So what I just did, I searched through the first course to select my weapon, which is the Kusurigama. Go to the start menu and select that weapon. Then we go to the skill set menu and go to the katana section and select grapple, which is activated with all other weapons. So it wouldn't matter if you go to katana or any other weapon. If you activate grapple, it will work on all weapons. And I just switch to high stance. High stance is uh, gives high, strong attacks, but it uses a lot of your stamina. So we're just going to be fighting this enemy. 
Jutsu gets some uh, Amarita, which is also known in the Dark Souls series, Souls. Uh, so we're not going to be calling it Souls, obviously, just Amaritas. Even though this game is showing a knockoff of Dark Souls. So we're going to go through this corpse just to gain some items and more Amaritas. And we're going to be fighting another enemy here. Dodge his attack and just keep him out. The key of fighting enemies and bosses is just to be patient, let them attack, dodge, and then punish them with a, a combo attack. So we're going to be running up the hill, then we're going to another corpse just to get another item. And then we're going to be going through another hill just to be finding a couple of enemies here. Uh, one of them is a is a little large enemy. Uh, just recommend keep your distance from him. Uh, if you, so again, use the heavy attack to use the Kusuri Gama to do some distant attack with him. Uh, I'm just trying to bring down his stamina down. Uh, but I'm trying to be safe by not, you know, having him attack me. And when the stamina is down, just use the opportunity to attack him. Now the next one is the, this enemy using an axe as a weapon. Very easy, very simple. Since they're slow, they'll use a lot of their stamina. And then you have the opportunity to punish them with an attack. So now we're going to be fighting these enemies. Use the heavy attack to lure one of them out. Uh, I was trying to make him attack so that I can punish him, but he was taking too long and I just started attacking him. So now we're going to be trying to lure one of the enemies here, which worked. So again, uh, just use the heavy attack just to uh, bring down his stamina. Even though if you want to try using that attack, a light attack, he might not stagger. And uh, it's a quick mission. I did fell off from here. Uh, and he still followed me. So, again, just keep your distance. Be patient. Uh, just have the opportunity to attack him. And then bring down his stamina and punish him to attack. Alright, so I was trying to lure one of the other enemies, but unfortunately I actually lured two of them. So, the best and safe way to do is again use the heavy attack, which can actually do uh, strike both enemies in a row. So, that's what I was trying to do, strike both enemies at a time. I got one of them to lure their stamina, and I'm trying to attack the other enemy. Uh, so I was mostly focusing on the bigger enemy because again he is a he is a little more of a threat than this dude and I was able to take him down very easily and then punch him. Alright, so we took out all the enemies in that area. The next enemy is gonna be called well I have said it before but I will say it, it's called a yokai, which again is a Japanese demon, which we will be facing him in order to get a key to unlock a gate and they will wrap themselves in a dark aura dark grayish aura I would say and we will use something called a purification and uh, every, and if you guys ever notice that white uh, silhouette around the char character basically every time I attack I press the stance button to recover my key but it also shows uh, actually uses a purification and that uh, that is very useful when against the uh, well you would call it yokai realm which is the grayish circle that is around the yokai so uh, the yokai spawns in that cloud like feature uh, use heavy uh, the high stance to attack him down uh, he quickly recovers his stamina. Don't get too greedy with your attacks, otherwise you will be punished by him. Uh, just wait for the opportunity to attack him. Wait for your uh, key to recover as best you can and punish him. Um, collect all the items and then you can get the key that will unlock the gate. 
So I'm just checking my weapons to see what's what. Along with the armor as well. And the uh, charms. And the charms, what they are, they pretty much help you within your mission. Uh, let's just say it helps you, increases your use of elixir recovery, uh, uses of omeo magic. And for this, we're going to be finding an another two enemies here before passing through the gate. Uh, so, again, wait, let them attack, punish, and yeah. So this enemy, we're actually going to lure him out of this cabin right here. Or house, or tower, or whatever you want to call it. Same old strategy. And then we're going to go inside to loot a corpse and to unlock a treasure box. Now, again, it's going to, I'm going to put another Dark Souls reference. There are also some treasure chests that have mimics in them. Uh, but these mimics are very harmful. All you need to do is imitate a uh, gesture that they do. If you guess it wrong, they will attack you. If you guess it right, they will disappear and they will give you treasure. Uh, but that... You will never encounter them, but I'm just giving you a 4 one one on those. So, we're going to the next shrine right here. And we're actually going to do uh, some level up. So, we're going to increase skill and magic by 2 for each. And we are going to the skill set. I'm going to the Kusurigama. Uh, to use Reaper and Summer Twilight. So Reaper is a move for the Kusurigama uh, when blocking and uh, while holding block and then press the heavy attack to do a barrage of attacks that will decrease that will actually well it will decrease your stamina but it does high damage to the enemy and then Summer Twilight. Summer Twilight is a way to increase your attack and your defense. Or actually, it increases your attack but lowers your defense, I believe. Uh, but you have to do it while on Sheath. And then what I did there, I unlocked uh, uh, Weakness Talisman, Water Talisman from the Omeo Magic side on the skill set. And then I went to Ninjutsu to unlock Shuriken which will be useful in the next mission. And then I went to Ready Jutsu to equip on to my inventory. Or my shortcut, I would say, actually. Sorry. So now we're just going to lure this enemy right here. They're slow, and they're not that dangerous. Just watch out for their grappling moves. They could poison you or pretty much kill you. Now we're just going to pass this yokai. Uh... What you're seeing is a wave dash that only works on low stance, and it usually works, uh, I would say, mostly works effectively when using a sword, because uh, it uh, has a higher maneuver uh, when going through areas. Alright, now we're just going to go up the ladder, and we're just going to dodge this enemy's arrow, and just punish him with the low stance. So, more explaining on the low stance. It uses less stamina, but it does little damage. And then I'll explain about the mid stance. Mid stance is a combination of both the high stance and low stance. Um, it's it can be useful from time to time, but the most effective stance to use against enemies uh, are it's mostly using low stance and then high stance to have a strong punish. Uh, let's say using the Reaper for the Kusurigama. And uh, we're just gonna... So as you see, there are two more enemies. We're gonna lure one of the enemies to a trap uh, rooftop. And then we'll just come up the other enemy. Alright. And just collecting some items. Just looking around. Uh, and we're gonna pass this other yokai right here. There is an enemy that's going to be right here on this roof, but it's you can just easily avoid it just by jumping down. And we're going to avoid all of these enemies. Not very useful because we're actually going to be going up the hill to unlock this door, which leads to that second shrine. So it's uh, we have just unlocked the shortcut from the shrine to the boss. 
and we're just going to be using the shrine to reset uh, the enemy's position but also respawns the enemies that we have defeated all right so we're going to be using summer twilight right here just press and hold the stance and the uh, low stance and then use the water talisman to coat our weapon with water and then we just run towards the to the sh pirate ship and we will fight our first boss who is named Onryoki. All you gotta do is use the weakness talisman, dodge his attack, then you switch the high stance and attack him. He's gonna do a little sweep, dodge at the correct timing so that you won't get hurt and then just keep it punishing him with the high stance attack with light. I forgot to dodge that but it's no big deal. Just use the uh, elixir uh, best as possible, punish him with high stance light attack, and there you go. Hopefully, if you're able to survive that, congrats, you have beaten Onryoki, and you have completed Chapter 1. So I'm just looking through to see if there's any uh, drop items I can have before ending the mission. Uh, and uh, seem to be none. And I'm just going to go through my inventory. Uh, so, uh, just looking at it, I'm just equipping uh, my second weapon. Uh, I was supposed to be a katana, but I forgot there's a difference between the Odachi and the katana. Odachis are like uh, long swords, like Sephiroth, for those who have played Final Fantasy. Uh, and then re I'm locking, uh, if you've seen the lock symbol on the dual wield, that is because I'm going to be using that later on and not and avoid uh, having it being sold when going to the blacksmith or to the offer which is in the shrine uh, and I am equipping some items uh, I equip the foot soldier uh, hat and I'm equipping some other items but I'm looking at the special effects that are below the armor that gives out uh, good features for the character, so like damage reduction, defense, toughness, life, key, and Amarita or gold earned. Uh, also, there is another feature which is gold. I forgot to mention. My apologies. Uh, gold is a another currency. Uh, it's used to buy, let's say, armor, weapons, and ammo. Uh, we will be using that later on. Uh, I believe we will not be using it after this mission probably after the second mission which will be in the next video and I'm just equipping uh, some uh, charm and uh, mostly I've been using is the medicine case which uh, can help you on some occasions it will sometimes help you with unlimited uh, elixir uh, also gives you a better elixir recovery I believe I have said it before if not um, I'll just say it again either way to be safe so we're just skipping a couple of cutscenes here and we get a reward for completing the mission. Uh, if you see those red dots, those are the like high, uh, let's say high power ammo, which is like a higher version of the of your original ammo. It does more damage. Uh, so what I did, I went to uh, to the settings, to individual game settings, and I'm just doing a do not check and none on each settings for like weapons accessories items etc so again I'm just looking through uh, the my armor to see uh, if uh, just to see uh, again the special effects and then pressing the start button shows an explanation of what the special effect does and what yeah pretty much what it does uh, now yes, we're at sir. the blacksmith uh, the most you can do on when bu buying something from the blacksmith is just ammo nothing else there are some specials right next to it uh, which has like high caliber ammo uh, special armor but it depends on the type of armor um, the special effect armor that I would recommend you would need is again is defense toughness key uh, which is your stamina uh, life uh, a marina urn and gold urn uh, along with like weapon uh, damage plus and uh, with long range or hand weapon 
along with uh, stance uh, stance damage. So in the blacksmith, there are m multiple uh, selections that you can choose. Uh, disassemble is obviously you can just disassemble a weapon and you can use it to forge your weapon. Uh, forging your weapon is a way to change, let's just say you don't like this special effects or this special effect is going to be useful on your mission. Uh, you can actually change that with the forge if you have the right or the good amount of item accessories you can use that to change that special effects into either something related or something better sometimes it'll go worse it can be RNG which is very random number generator for those who don't know that uh, basically it'll be random at time to time you, you might get lucky you might not get lucky uh, but if you're comfortable with it you can leave it uh, another one is uh, refashion refashion that's going to be way later in the game it's it's only for those who who like the style of the weapon or the armor uh, it doesn't do any it doesn't boost any effects it doesn't do anything it just gives you a better look for your character uh, then there is thing called soul merge soul merge is a way to upgrade if you like this weapon you like its special effects and then there's one that's higher but you don't like its uh, effects or anything else to it so you can select the weapon you have equipped then select the next weapon which is the one that is higher but has bad special effects and then if you go to soul merge if you go to soul merge it actually will increase the attack of your weapon making it stronger than it was before so you can also have a way to increase your weapon so what I just did there, I just did uh, an offering, which is also another way to sell your weapons and armor, but you gain Amarita instead. And then I went to level up my spirit to plus two. And obviously the next video will be talking about the next main mission, which is chapter two, Deep in the Shadows. And we'll be fighting a boss named Hinmo Enma. So we're actually gonna find all the Kodamas here in Isle of Demons. So we're gonna first find the first one. Uh, just take a right and uh, just go all the way to the right and you'll see a Kodama that should be behind a wagon. There are some enemies there so uh, just be careful. Uh, you can avoid them or fight them in order to get to the Kodama. Um, you can do this during the mission or you can do it after uh, the mission. Uh, so what you're seeing is my New Game Plus file, and uh, this is an easier way for uh, to help you out finding the Kodamas. So the second one, I should have mentioned earlier, uh, just go up the hill, uh, take a right, go up, and then that's where you find the second Kodama. Uh, the uh, next one is just uh, jump down, go to another hill, go all the way down take a left there are some enemies that will spawn there and that will you you will find the third Kodama all right the next Kodama just go back to where you were all the way down to the hill so you can see how mobile how very uh, movable when going on low stance with the sword uh, just pass this rock pass the shrine right there there will be an enemy right there just look out for that uh, find a way to jump down there will be an enemy there be careful as well uh, you'll be finding the enemies that are next to the gate uh, and just go to the right then make a left and then you will see the next Konama right there all right now the next Konama is when you uh, open the gate just go all the way to just take a right go all the way down go to the left jump down and then you'll find the next Kodama Alright, so just jump down, find the next one. Uh, go to uh, climb up the ladder. And then uh, just keep going uh, to the bridge. And then uh, you'll see a uh, platform or a plank. 
And the Kodama is right below that plank. Alright, yeah, so just jump down here. Uh, let's go to the ladder. And uh, you just jump down. Let's go past this bridge. And then let's pass this bridge right here. Uh, right where that yokai is. Uh, and then. Yeah, so just go to uh, another bridge, and there should be a stack of bridges that will lead up to a tower. And then just go to the left, jump down. And then just jump off there, and then you'll find the next Kodama to your right. Alright, so for the next Kodama, just jump down. Uh, just right where the gate is, just uh, avoid the enemies or fight them, your choice, and then go to the left. Hug the left side of the wall, uh, don't go too far to the right, you'll fall to the ocean, and then that's where you'll find the next Kodama. Now we're going to find the final Kodama. All you got to do is avoid, fight, whatever the case, once again, uh, just uh, dash up the hill where the gate to the second shrine is, just past that. And then you'll find the final Kodama. You'll know to find all the Kodamas when you see the quote to your left. Where it says all Kodamas are now uh, safe at the shrine. So just go back to the shrine. Uh, activate the shrine right there. You can see all the number of uh, Kodamas that you've saved. And have, it, uh, uh, have them being there. Alright, and it's, uh, to f see... The progress of the Kodamas is go to the left. It will show the Kodama Blessing title. And you'll see all the Kodamas that you have rescued. And it shows the amount of Kodamas that you have rescued. Uh, out of the total on the right side. And it shows an increase of uh, Amarina gaining. Item dropped. Weapon dropped. Uh, armor dropped. And etc. Alright, well hopefully uh, this helps you on finding all the Kodamas either during the mission or after. I recommend doing after. Hopefully my beginner guide helped you out uh, in this video.